A lot of people talk about rubellite being the rarest of all tourmalines or indicolite, the blue variety of tourmaline being the rarest, but actually the most uncommon color and the most difficult to find, especially if it's perfectly crystallized and perfectly flawless and clean is yellow. This predominantly in the clean quality only comes out of the Orongo region of Namibia. So you see very few pieces out there. I mean, you can count on both hands the amount of perfectly flawless yellow tourmalines there are in the world. You are looking at right here a 6.58 carat flawless gemstone. Aeronautically engineered Cap Florence as you would expect of course with well over a carat of D flawless diamonds so the mount already is close to six and a half K, seven K just for the mount but that particular tourmaline even in Namibia when you're trying to buy it they try and sell it for four to 5,000 a carat because if it's flawless, it's rare. And look, I buy a lot of rough out of the Orongo region. I get a lot of Demantoid out of there. I get some, you know, Mandarin Garnets. I get Tourmalines. I get Aquamarines. But every once in a while, I'm able to get a Tourmaline that they miss that basically was covered in Mija Shis. It was covered so they couldn't actually see the actual color inside the stone and it turns out to be a yellow. It's like hitting the jackpot. We do not get a lot. You will We'll never see a lot of yellow tourmalines here in the Cap Florence Artillier because we just don't get a lot of these stones because they sell them for huge premiums at the mine in Namibia. So there's a lot, there's not a lot in circulation. You do see the sporadic piece that comes out of Brazil, but it's always totally, totally included. To get perfectly clean, yellow out of Brazil is almost unheard of. This is a rare geological phenomenon. It's collectible, it's special, and it belongs in the hands of a collector who collects the finest quality tourmalines.